All right, we're back. We've got a little review to do. Got to make a gate, so I picked up a adjustable gate kit from Lowe's. Goes up to 72 inches wide, chain link gate. Kind of put it together as wide as you want, up to 72 inches. It's gonna go between these two trailers with a piece of fence on one side or the other. Got to enclose that area to enclose our dog run so that our dogs can have a nice safe place to be while we're building our house. So hang out for a minute, we'll get into this box and see what, see what it comes with. All right, let's get into this box and see what comes with this kit. getting into this so we've got the chain link we've got the end bars which have the curves we've got two straight bars with the top and bottom and this is where the adjustable part comes in you can cut these to the length of the whatever width you want and these two little bars right here hold the chain link tight on the sides in the pitchfork. Yeah. yeah. You also have your bag of hardware which has a lot of stuff the clips in it that hold the chain link to the fence, your latch, and your hinge, I believe. We'll get into that here in a minute. It does show you in the destruction manual what you need, what it comes with here, a few tools that you need, an adjustable wrench, a pair of pliers, hacksaw, wire cutters, and a drill with a nut driver socket. So, since we don't have a hacksaw up here, because well, I haven't brought one yet, this gate's going to be 72 inches wide because I have no way of cutting it down. But that's all right, we can make it 72 inches wide and we'll fill in the rest, which is regular chain link. So sometimes, when you get a chain link fence or a gate, any kind of chain link, these things will be kind of messed up. They'll be out of skew, sitting like that. Simply hook them through, pinch them down, and it all comes right back. There's a couple spots in this one we had to fix it up, but nothing you couldn't do with a pair of pliers if your fingers aren't strong enough. All right, so first things first, got to get the framework built. Noticing that you have a diagonal to keep it kind of square, you want those holes in the opposite corners. If you put them this way, your holes are at the top or at the bottom, you're not going to have a diagonal and make it strong and hold it up. So make sure those holes are at a diagonal and then put these in. that side. Got one in. All right, set it down on the table. It's a pretty big gate. Big. Yeah. Well, we don't thing. have any way to cut it down right now, so that's just the way it's going to be. Now it comes with self-tapping screws to go in these holes to help hold it together so it doesn't fall apart. And once you get the chain link stretched in here, it's not going to come apart because that chain link is going to be stretched. It's going to be pulling all that together. 
It's up to you if you want to use the self-tapping screws or not. I'm going to run them in real quick. We'll be right back. Alright, so we've got our screws holding our gate together. You're going to want to make sure that your gate is level when you screw it together and make sure that it's square. We didn't cut any pieces and it's sitting on a table that's fairly level, so I'm going to go with it. The next thing you need to do is adjust your wire. This is your tensioner. You're going to want to make sure this adjuster right here is all the way undone so that you can tighten it. When I got it out of the package, it was all the way tightened down. And if I would have put it on that way, I wouldn't have been able to tighten it up. So make sure you got a nice wide gap right in between there and start off that way. Put that in that hole over there. So it comes with two of these rods that go through the chain link on the sides, not the top and bottom, but the sides. Then they're held on with these little clamps. We've already done that side over there. Now Sonny run this through. We're going to attach this on the side over here. We might have to stretch it. I don't know how exact their measurement was with chain link, so we might have to take some out. Yeah, we're going to have to take at least one thing out to make this tight. So we're going to take this last piece of wire off the chain link fence, and we're going to use the next ring to stretch it tight. Alright, so this is a piece of chain link. If you've never taken one apart, up on the top where it hooks around and bends around the next piece, just bend it up and then fish it out just by twisting it and it'll come right out. Get one piece out. We ended up taking two pieces out of this piece of chain link so that we could stretch it and make it nice and tight. Now after you stretch it and make it nice and tight, use these little pieces of wire that comes with the, the gate and you'll tie these off the top and the bottom. That way the top and the bottom of the gate you can't push through. Alright, so we've got the little hooks holding the chain link on the top and the bottom. We've got the hinges, or at least half of a hinge. These will go on the hinge side, which has stickers. This one says top hinge side. This yeah, the sticker over there. Each, it had one that said bottom latch side. So if you put the hinges on, you've got half a hinge. What it did, the kit did not come with, was the other piece of hinge that's a pin. It goes in here into another post. So you'll still need to buy something before you can actually hang this. But we'll go ahead and get these hinges put on here. And then maybe tomorrow we'll run to the store and get some, uh, some posts for these hinges and bolt them onto a pole. So your latch assembly. You have square holes and you have rounded holes. Your latch, square holes up. Square holes are for the carriage bolts. So you have that square end in there. Those go in the square holes and it kind of locks it into place. You run that through, you can put a lock on the bottom where this little old hole is, this open hole on the other side here. It's kind of hard to hold this. You can put a lock through there to lock that gate shut. We'll put this on. We don't have a way to put this gate up right now because we don't have the other half of the hinges and we don't have a pole to actually latch this onto but we'll get that stuff put in and get this gate secured up in that spot right there to keep our dogs in their dog run 
Right, so here's the latch hooked onto the gate. You see the square holes are taken up by the carriage bolts and it's got one of these notches on each side so you can't mix up which side the actual latch goes on. And you can put a carabiner through here to, to lock it or an actual padlock depending on your situation you're in. All right, so if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already. Hit the bell for notifications. And more importantly, go make something.